Hello Value Viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Apache and we're looking at one of the four radar modes, ATM or Air Targeting Mode. This is not a new mode, it actually came out about a year ago, but today we're taking our first look at it and it's pretty simple. First, controls, sight select switch. You can do fire control radar, helmet mounted display, link and tads. Obviously we're going to do fire control radar. Once we've selected our fire control radar, we have four modes, ATM, GTM, RMAP and TPM. And today, obviously it's going to be air targeting mode. Once we're in ATM, we can have four field of views, Z, W, N, M, scan size switch up down left and right and finally to get our radar to transmit we can either use scan switch single for a single radar burst or continuous for a never-ending continuous scan in terms of today's scenario the limit of range of the apache fire control radar is eight kilometers about four miles so we've got three targets and they're all within four miles at about three miles or six kilometers we have an a10 moving round at 3,600 feet. Over here, at about six kilometers as well, we have a CH-47 at 500 feet, not moving. Finally, at 1,600 feet, we have a moving CH-47, about four kilometers. Obviously, for this to work, you have to have your FCR, or your mast mounted assembly, equipped to the helicopter. Once equipped, just in case we fire a missile, I'm gonna turn our master arm on. Then we're gonna to go to fire control radar. At the moment, it's not powered, so we need to power it on util. Our mast mounted assembly is pinned. We're gonna unpin it so it can rotate. We're gonna skip or override the built-in test because I don't want to wait. There, done. And fire control radar ready to go. As standard, it's in the GTM or ground target mode. Next, we need to select it as our selected site. Currently, our helmet mounted display is selected, so we're going to press Select Site FCR. It's now selected. To change from ground targeting mode to air targeting mode, we're going to press the ATM mode select as we saw earlier, and we're now in ATM. It's a top down display. We are here and we're facing in that direction there. We have the ability to scan 360 degrees up to this range ring here, which is eight kilometers away. We're not seeing anything at the moment because we're not actually scanning, we're just setting it up. So first, we're going to look at our field of view. As our standard field of view or full field of view, you can see we can scan the entire 360 degrees. The other three field of views give us either a half field of view in this hemisphere here, or a quarter, 90 degrees, or bias towards our direction, a 45 degree field of view. Let's put it back here. Why would you have a lower field of view? Obviously it increases the refresh rate. This is gonna have a very slow refresh rate over 360 degrees. Next is our field of regard, which is our altitude. Currently at the eight kilometers range here, the top of our scan zone will be at 3,250 feet and the bottom will be at 380 feet. If I show the schematic here, you'll see that we have a very thin cone of scan like most mechanical radars do. We have to move it up and down to encompass the target that we want to find. What that means when we're using this radar mode is that if we know the altitude of our target, then we need to set it to match that or encompass that if we don't know and we're just scanning, we'll need to constantly sleeve the radar up and then down to find our target. To do that, obviously, we have our elevation selector here. Currently, we're level here. We could go up there. And as we go up to the top here, you can see at eight kilometers, we'll be covering 13,000 feet down to 10,000 feet, or we can go down and we'll have a theoretical negative 3,600 and negative 6,600. And let's go and put it level again next we need to scan remember continuous or single in this case we're probably going to be moving the picture is going to change all the time so probably continuous is going to be best so continuous it's now going to constantly rotate here you can see our sweep indicator here and we're seeing two targets at the moment we have a bow tie with a circle in it in the middle which means a moving helicopter we have an empty bow tie here which means a static helicopter here, and I'll quickly overlay the different symbols that you can see here. 
is selected this as our primary target and this as our next to shoot and as ever we can press this button here to change which is the next to shoot which is all great and good but uh, where's our aeroplane well our aeroplane presumably is not covered in the current uh, field of regard so probably we need to sleeve our radar up to find it so let's go up a notch here and let's see if we can find that aeroplane Again, when you talk about, there we go, there's the aeroplane. That is the symbol, obviously, for the aeroplane. So now we can see the fixed wing, and we can't see the rotary wings. Other symbology, we've got our scheme here. When you're using the radar, you can change scheme. And what that means is it's telling the radar which to bias as your primary target. Schemes A and B will bias non-moving fixed wing over anything else. If you go to scheme C, it will bias fixed wing over rotary wing but we've only got a single target here so it's not going to make any difference which scheme we're on and that's using ATM to actually engage the target we just use the standard way that we always do it so uh, we're going to turn our eye hands back on we're going to waz our missile obviously we want to get the target in front of us so we're going to unpause hopefully not crash look for the bandit he's ahead of us now just uh, trying to maneuver get him a little bit better let's try firing there off it goes it should track that target and hopefully shoot him down it's a radar guided health fight obviously and ah, it's not gonna do it i've asked a bit too much of it fired it out of parameters whatever but you can see it was trying to track him and shoot him uh in much more suited obviously for shooting helicopters down but you can hit a uh, fixed wing if you get it just in the right parameters i hope that was useful and bye bye